Hello everyone, welcome back to the Christian Prodigy. Today we are going to be doing Genesis 12 through 15. So let's get started, shall we? The Call of Abraham, chapter 12. The Lord had said to, Abra to Abraham, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abraham went, and the Lord, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him, Abraham was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife, Sarai, Sarai, his nephew, Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated, and the people they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Abraham traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Morak at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your offspring, I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there, he went on towards the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west uh, and Ai on the east, there he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abraham set out and continued toward the Negev. I don't know why my nose is running. Abraham in Egypt. Now there was a famine in the land and Abraham went down to Egypt to live there for a while because the famine was severe. As he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife, Sari, I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is his wife. Then they will kill me, but will let you live. Say you are my sister, so that I will be treated well for your sake, and my life will be spared because of you. When Abraham came to Egypt, the Egyptians saw that Sari was, very be was a very beautiful woman, and when, and when Pharaoh's officials saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh, and she was taken into his palace. He treated Abram well for her sake, and Abram acquired sheep and cattle, male and female donkeys, male and female servants, and camels. But the Lord inflicted serious diseases on Pharaoh and his household because of Abram's wife, Sari. So Pharaoh summoned Abraham. What have you done to me? He said. Why didn't you tell me that? Why didn't you tell me she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister? So that I took her to be my wife. Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abraham to his men, and they sent him on his way with his wife and everything he had. Abraham and Lot separate. Chapter 13. So Abraham went up from Egypt to the, to the Negev with his wife and everything he had, and Lot went with him. Abraham had become very wealthy in, the live, in livestock and in silver and gold. From the Negev, he went from place to place until he came to Bethel, to the place between Bethel and Ai, where his tent had been earlier, and where he had, built, where he had first built an altar. There Abraham, Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Now Lot, who was moving about with Abraham, also had flocks and herds and tents, but the land could not support them while they stayed together, for their possessions were so great that they, that they were not able to stay together. And quarreling arose between Abraham's herders and Lot's. The Canaanites and Prislites were also living in the land at that time. So Abraham said to Lot, Let's not have any quarreling between you and me, or between your herders and mine, for we are close relatives. Is not the whole land before you? 
Let's part company. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. Lot looked around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan towards Zor was well watered, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and set out towards the east. The two men parted company. Abraham lived in the land of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tents near Sodom. Now the people of Sodom were wicked and were sinning it greatly against the Lord. The Lord said to Abraham after Lot had parted from him, Look around from where you are, to the north and south, to the east and west. All the land that you see I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth, so that if anyone were, could count the dust, then your offspring could be counted. Go and walk through the length and breadth of the land, for I am giving it to you. So Abraham went to live near the great trees of Memoir at Hebron, where he pitched his tents. There he built an altar to the Lord. Chapter 14, Abraham rescues Lot. At the time when the king of Shinar, king of Eleazar, king of Alam, king of Joyam, these kings went to war against the kings of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, etc., all these latter kings joined forces in the valley of Siddam, that is, the Dead Sea Valley. For twelve years, they had been subject to whoever that is, but in the thirteenth year, they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, the kings allied with him went out and defeated the people. in the hill country of Sir, near the desert. Then they turned back and went to Kadesh, and they conquered the whole territory of the Amalekites, Amalekites, as well as the Amorites, who were living in Tamar. Then the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, etc., marched out and drew up their battle lines in the valley of Siddam against the other kings. It was four kings against five. Now the valley of Siddam was full of tar pits, and when the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some of the men fell into them, and the rest fled to the hills. The four kings seized all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their food. Then they went away. They also carried off Abraham's nephew Lot and his possessions, since he was living in Sodom. A man who had escaped came and reported this to Abraham the Hebrew. Now Abraham was living near the great trees of Memor the Amorite, a brother of whoever, all of whom were allied with Abraham. When Abraham heard that his relative had been taken captive, he called out the 318 trained men born in his household and went in pursuit as far as Dan. During the night, Abraham divided his, his men to attack them, and he routed them, pursuing them as far as Habath, Habah, north of Damascus. He recovered all the goods and brought back his relative Lot and his possessions together with the woman and the other people. After Abraham returned from defeating the king and the kings allied with him, the king of Sodom came out to meet him in the valley of Shiva, that is, the king's valley. Then the king of Sodom brought out bread and wine. He was priest of the Most High God, of, of, the God, of God Most High. And he blessed Abraham, saying, Blessed be Abraham by God Most High, creator of heaven and earth. And praise be to God Most High, who delivered your enemies into your hands. 
Then Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. The king of Sodom said to Abraham, Give me the people and keep the goods for yourself. But Abraham said to the king of Sodom, without, With raised hand, I have sworn an oath to the Lord God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, that I will accept nothing belonging to you, not even a thread or the strap of a sandal, so that you will never be able to say, I made Abraham rich. I will accept nothing but what my men have eaten and the share that belongs to the men who went with me. Let them have their share. Chapter 15, The Lord's Covenant with Abraham. After this, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, you, your very great reward. But Abraham said, Sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless and the one who will inherit my estate is Eliezer of Damascus? And Abraham said, You have given me no children, so a servant in my household will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, This man will not be your heir, your heir but a son who is, of, who is your own flesh and blood will be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars, if indeed you can count them. Then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. Abraham believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. He also said to him, I am the Lord who brought you out of your to give you this land and possession of it. But Abraham said, Sovereign Lord, how can I know? that I will gain possession of it. So the Lord said to him, Bring me a heifer, a goat, and a ram, each three years old, along with a dove and a young pigeon. Abraham brought all of these to him, cut them in two, and arranged the halves opposite of each other. The birds, however, he did not cut in half. The birds of Then birds of prey came down on the carcasses. But Abraham drove them away. As the sun was setting, Abraham fell into a deep sleep, and a thick and dreadful darkness came over him. Then the Lord said to him, Know for certain that for 400 years your descendants will be strangers in a country not their own, and that they will be enslaved and mistreated there. But I will punish the nation they serve as slaves, and afterward they will come out with great possessions. You, however, will go to your ancestors in peace and be buried at a good old age. In the fourth generation, your descendants will come back here, for the sin of the Amorites has not yet reached its full measure. When the sun had set and darkness had fallen, a smoking fire pot with a blazing torch appeared and passed between the pieces. On that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham and said, to your descendants I will give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates, and the land of the Canaanites, etc. So that is Genesis 12 through 15. This is a shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. If you're new, consider subscribing. Glory be to God. I'll see you guys later.